What is up everybody, Mikey Dare Pamson here with Hearts of Iron 4. I have been safe scumming like an evil person, and I'm not going to care about it. You know why? Because you can't stop me. I'm just going to record. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what people are saying in the comments. I'm sure people are like, yeah, 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 it's fine. Um, hopefully that's what you're saying. If not, you're wrong, and I hate you. But we got a lot of new colonies and all that, which is good. Um... See, the only problem with releasing puppets is I'm not exactly sure which territory I would take from them. So, yeah, we're just going to stick with what we have. The Ottomans are going to be Ottomans. You no longer get the effects from Schlieffen Plan. Well, we've kind of already done the first part of the Schlieffen Plan. That is, you know, getting through the line and all that. Um, but... All of that stuff is cool and all. But what I really worry about is whether or not we're actually going to be able to defend against the Russian menace. Which looks like we might be able to get a construction effort, which is good. Let's get some armament effort. Get another military factory. And honestly, after that, we you know we get through the dockyard one. We can get some get some uh, more dockyards. Let's get some field hospitals. Good, let's get military police, I guess, to make our cavalry more important. All that stuff. So, yep, I cheated. Deal with it. It's not cheating. It's safe. It's technically safe scumming. Oh, God. So, there we go. Unbelievable. Oh, my God. Da da da. Do, 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 do. So, yeah, I need a lot of motorized to, you know, switch over some of my armored car divisions to make them fast. Because, actually, let's look at our armored cars. Let's, how, what, what are they? Max speed is 9 kilometers. And what's this max speed? 10 kilometers. So we could actually have some fast divisions. We just need to, um, we just need to get enough motorized dudes. Which is going to take a while because we're kind of industrially strained right now doing all this other stuff. Oh, we have, plenty, we have plenty of infantry equipment. Like, we're just doing the minimum. The M1902, which is kind of not ideal. You know, we kind of are using very old infantry equipment. We'll get some new ones in 1916. But maybe World War One will happen a lot later than we thought, think it will. Our right, effort... Enforce the Republic's authority. What the hell does that mean? Where's war? Where's just war with Germany? Get Alsace Lorraine back. Um. So there we go. Okay. Okay. So we got the logistics company. There we go. Honestly, should I start worrying about ships because of? I think I should just continue doing land doctrine. Breakthrough and division speed, counteroffensive. Um. What about our national focuses? Can we do more doctrine effort? Yeah, we can. So let's 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 hold off on that. Let's get let's get more ships. Let's get a seaplane carrier. Ooh, what does this do? I don't know. Let's get um. We're building submarines. Let's get let's get some new submarines. Let's get some more oops, some more undersea boats. Also, while we're at it, let's bump this up to naval base level five. And like actually get this kind of up here ish sort of okay so there we go how are you doing y'all are all doing just fine kind of sort of so yep where'd, where'd the music go krakow i don't know we're fine we're fine okay unpause clicking too many things being unprofessional. Welcome to Panzernator YouTube, guys. Y'all know what to expect at this point. It's, it's fun, but I'm an idiot about having the fun. So, this, this is hills? Hills. Flatland. I also should have moved this here, probably. Eh, but the river. I don't know, is the river better? Or is the is the river crossing more important? Or is like having rough terrain for defense? Honestly, I don't really care. So, there we go. What are you? You are North Sea Fleet. Um, oh yeah, Admiral Hipster. We could probably start building some ships for Admiral Hipster soon. Um, 
Yeah, once this battle cruiser finishes, we'll do that. Actually, let's get it started now so we can get some. Let's get 10 battle cruisers for North Sea Fleet. But let's get 10 battle cruisers, 20 protected cruisers for the North Sea Fleet. And then, what, 50 destroyers? 50 destroyers. So that we won't have to worry about any of this anymore. You know, we'll be done with all that for a while. There we go. Maintenance companies. Uh, 1915. What can we do in 1915? Oh, we can do a tank prototype or we can do poison gas. Let's get a tank prototype. Let's, 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 let's think about this. What would be a good idea to kill a bunch of French people? They're, oh, they're, they're fortifying big time. Oh no. Let's do all that. Let's get some more heavy artillery because that'll help with that. But yeah, look at this. They're building forts and they're building forts in Leo and Dunkirk and they're doing a lot of stuff. Ooh, okay, y'all can stop. Let's deselect one of you. Let's do this. Let's send all of y'all to over here. And then we get to play the fantastic game of send the German soldiers to protect random ports across the world. Let's see here, and then here, and then here. Here. Would I even get a guy for this one? I don't think so. <laughs> oh no. Well, this is far from ideal. I might have to train another one really quickly, or I might. Yeah. I mean, honestly, this, this guy is usually just a placeholder to make sure. I think I need another one. I do. Okay, let's actually do one more. Okay, let's just do one. And Brent. Actually, let's deploy y'all. Deploy the garrison. Let's put one of you here and do that. And you. Join this army by going here. Let's go do that. Let's have y'all start training. Because that's a good idea. And then you, sir, can go select all. Where are y'all all going? Okay, that's right. You need to go here. And we'll select all of you and put you in this army. Fantastic. Signal company. Okay, so we're getting tank prototype 1915. Let's get mustard gas. Because we're going to need another breakthrough army, and that's exactly what we'll have. We'll have them breakthrough at Verdun, because what, what in war has possibly ever gone wrong at Verdun? Hmm? Question mark? Anyone? Bueller? So, there we go. We're, we're, we're training an entire other army. Which is nice. Entire other shock army. And we're almost done with all this. So there we go. We're, we're getting our defensive line in the east already. I don't know if we need forts and all this. I'm probably going to just focus on industrializing so we can win the offensive war and just hope this holds. And if it doesn't, I'm just like, well, shit, who cares? I mean, I will care, but it might just be something where it's like, eh, what can you do? So. What do we need? Does not have any deployment? You need to be ready to deploy. Um, okay. So we're just going through going through the days, waiting waiting for all this to happen. Are y'all like in y'all's locations yet? Not yet. Got a lot of people going to a lot of ports. Um, hopefully the war doesn't start now, or else everyone's gonna get sunk on their way to their assignments. Um. Yeah, that would that'd be un, that'd be unfortunate if that were to happen. So for now, we'll just um try and lay low. Hopefully, hopefully the f war against the French will go decently well. I don't know. They're building forts and scary. Forts are scary. Forts in Lille, like. Eh. Forts, 10% per fort level. Trenches, their descriptions are broken. 
Ay, ay, ay. So, um, yeah. What do we do? Dockyard expansion. Okay, so we're trying to build up the navy. I don't exactly know if we'll be able to outproduce them because we're we're not gonna be able to outproduce them. God damn it! So, but we're gonna have enough for my crazy plan. So what I've done in previous Hearts of Iron Great War games is if I get stuck on the Western Front, I'll launch a naval invasion from here to Northern Scotland, to like Newcastle or Roslith or whatever. Get one of these ports, take the UK, and then do a D-Day behind their lines and get them. And for some reason, those like Hail Mary naval invasions uh, are better at succeeding than, well, you know, it's worth sacrificing your fleet. It's kind of not something I want to do though. So trying to get this army all trained up. Hopefully they'll be all good to go. Um, do I have artillery? I don't have artillery in this one, so... Just kind of a more tough division to crack and break through and all that. Some armored cars. Yeah, wheel's going to be a tough nut to crack. Two forts. I mean, it's not terribly good. Because we got Doctor Expansion, which is good. Uh, let's get Doctrine Effort. Doctrine Effort is important. Let's get that. So we're just worried about making our military good and kind of just waiting for everyone else to start the war. But yeah, we're, we, we should be in war right now. I don't know if that was... I still don't know if that was a glitch or not. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. But regardless, we're building the last, of the, the last of the trenches, which is good. So September of 1915. We can start getting stuff for 1916, don't we? Um... 1918, land auction, we're about to get stuff for that. Kind of thinking about getting some better ships. So let's get some, um, let's get some better battle cruisers. Worry about the Navy a little bit. Give the Navy some love. Navy needs some love every now and then. But yeah. Not entirely sure why we're not at war with the Entente. Also, not entirely worried about that. Like, we can just continue the stalemate and have an even bloodier war later. Thumbs up. Right, guys? Right? Uh, what are you doing? Can you do something stupid? What about... Everyone's just doing boring equipment stuff. Like, army things because the Benelux were in this faction. Just by war goal. Conquer. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. That'd be dumb. I'm going to go through the focus tree. As this game was intended. Okay, so we submarine two, so that's good. Let's get coastal subs. Because that's what we're building. Oh, well, we're almost done with them, honestly. Uh, okay, what's the deal? Submarine 2, congratulations. Okay. Yep, zip, zippity doodah. Building a lot of submarines. Honestly, I should just spam submarines, shouldn't I? And just throw them in naval zones for naval superiority and let them die while my invasions get to where they need to go. That's kind of a defeatist way to do things. How many, how, what manpower do I have? And I have like 200, I have a quarter million men in, um, in the Navy, so that'd be a little, uh, dark for me to do. So on the Western Front, where, where would be the best place to break through along this line? This one's heavily fortified. Nancy's not in, this, I think one of these two. May, okay, so we got mustard gas. That's important. It's October 1915. Um, don't know why they have forts already. Should we get the Albatross? Should we get naval doctrines? More ships. Um, it's almost 1916. Honestly, let's get some... Let's get the planes. Let's get the Albatross. We're probably not going to worry. We're, we might research the triplane if we're bored. But I'm not going to worry about it because that's another thing to produce and clutters the equipment list. And I just don't want to mess with it. So, just keep building all this. Keep getting all of this built up, which is nice. Very nice. Okay, so we're done with support equipment. I'm going to leave this. I would normally want to take this. I'm going to take five off. I'm a liar. Let's get the armored cars built. 
I care very strongly about our shock divisions. Hoping, you know, it's a very big depletion. I want them trained, and I want to start a new arm here. So, there we go. Let's go here. Let's call this the two second shock army. Do we have a fort buster we could use? Let's do skill. Von Marwitz. Let's do Von Marwitz. There we go. So we got green aces. Let's uh, we got red spades. Let's get green. And of course, I probably went the wrong way, as a tradition. So there we go. Let's put you on the western front. And I think near Sedan is. Let's go through Sedan. Yeah, let's do that. So let's get the green army along Sedan. And let's have them do a. Let's have them take Troy. And then from there. No, let's, let's do what I want you to do. Let's not do that. Go from there to um let's not do that either. What about like Dijon? No. I want you to go from where you are. Yeah, do that. There we go. That's what I want you to do. Okay. So got all that. Boom. Good. I wish the tooltip for drawing those would be a little bit better. So this army is going to try and cut off the units along the Maginot line. Is that the Maginot line? Well, it's basically the Maginot line. It's like almost the Maginot line. Kind of. Serves the same purpose. So, um, you know, the giant wall of fuck you Germany along the border. So, there we go. And we got that last guy in there so we're just waiting for the armed car to get ready and then the western front is Yuchi so looking for weak spots um Leo is definitely not a weak, weak spot Valsens is so ooh, we got doctrine effort this is all good oh, it's not all good but it's um it's kind of helpful okay so let's go with uh, arm experience, research bonus. Let's do a friend Bulgaria. Ooh. I really do think we should um, go for all this stuff, but eh. Let's make our military better. Someone else will start the war. We're trying to be peaceful. The German, the Kaiserreich, is a peaceful empire that somehow ended up with just eating up the Benelux and we forgot to take all their colonies in a peace deal and then we're like oh nope take Spaxies you still haven't left your country so we safe scummed we did all that and we secured the Benelux so there we go we are have our second shock army built which is good not entirely sure if we have enough equipment to go for another one I mean we have a lot of infantry equipment but I don't necessarily want to just throw bodies at them. So we'll see what else I do. But anyways, that is all the time we have for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope to see you all in the next one. And until then, this is Banzanator signing out. See you, nerds.